What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Here is some exciting news for Samsung Galaxy phone users out there. Samsung and Google's partnership has led to an advanced integration of Gemini into the default application really on the Galaxy phones. What I'm really excited about is our phones. collaboration with partners to tailor the Gemini experience for their unique hardware. Yon on Twitter has shared these pictures here. As you can see, there are three additional extensions for the Gemini application now. We've got Samsung Calendar, Samsung Notes, and Samsung Reminder. Using Gemini, we will be able to create, edit, or delete an event inside Samsung Calendar. We can capture information from images to create events, list events for a date range, and create repeating events. These are a couple of things which are mentioned here. And it also says what Samsung Calendar cannot do with Gemini's integration you can't share events and you can't detect overlapping events. And at the bottom, the prompts to try are available here. You can see it says create an event, create a recurring event, check the schedule for the event. This is incredible. We will now be able to talk to Gemini and interact with the system applications, execute some actions using Gemini on the Samsung's own applications like calendar, reminder, and notes. Next, you can see on Samsung notes, we will be able to create and summarize notes. We can retrieve the notes based on a description and titles, all we need to do is talk to Gemini. We can tell Gemini to create a note, tell Gemini what is the content that you need to add. Gemini will add that content on Samsung Notes. And if you remember the description or title of a note, you can just tell Gemini to open that note for you, which is fantastic. The prompts to try here are create a note, summarize notes, search for notes. Next, we have got Samsung Reminder. This is gonna be very useful. We can create reminders for a specific time or date edit a reminder's name, time, or date, search for reminders by name, time, or date, and we'll also be able to delete reminders here. And what Samsung Reminder cannot do using Gemini is add locations to reminders, add photos to reminders, add checklists, or add or edit categories. And here the prompts to try are create a reminder, search for reminders, and summarize reminders. Now all these actions related to Samsung applications can be executed using Gemini. We can just talk to Gemini and use some commands to get things done on the Samsung Notes, Samsung Reminder, and Samsung Calendar. And for these extensions to appear on your device, we need Gemini application installed on the phone, and you need to make sure the extensions are enabled. Now let me open Gemini application here, and I'll tap on profile picture here and tap on extensions. Here you can see we've got Google Workspace, Messages, Phone, WhatsApp, utilities, Google Flights, Google Hotels, Google Maps, Spotify, YouTube, YouTube Music, and OpenStax. These are the extensions which are already available. Let me quickly show you how this works. Hey Google, can you play songs on Spotify? Sure, first, I'll need your permission to turn on the Spotify extension. Uh, here we'll have to turn on the Spotify extension. By the way, it's already turned on. Let me just tap on continue and tap on connect. Here's some music on Spotify. So this is how it works. All we need to do is turn on the extension and Gemini will be able to pick up the commands related to that specific app and execute those commands. Now Google will be adding all those extensions for Samsung applications right here and it may be enabled by default. If it is not, then you will have to enable that extension by talking to Gemini. Now I'm not very sure whether this integration is only for Samsung Galaxy phones or maybe other Android phones also will get this. At the moment, it is unclear. Let's wait and see that. But for now, looking at these promising screenshots, we are going to get the extensions for the Samsung's system applications. Of course, we'll be able to use Bixby for all these commands. Bixby. Create a note. What should it say? Upcoming Gemini features. I saved the note. Tap on it to edit. You see the note is saved. I can just tap on edit this note. Check the screen to edit it. It will open up the notes here. Now let me use a command for uh, the calendar application. Hey Bixby. Can you list the events for this month? Okay, there are 10 results. There we go. We have got all the information that we need. Bixby, create an event. What should I call it? My birthday. It's saved. Bixby. Can you edit the last event you saved? I searched for last on Tuesday and didn't find anything. Okay, so uh, there will be some issues when you uh, conversate based on the history. 
So maybe it is not picking this up. And Gemini may be able to do a better job when it comes to continuing the conversation based on the history or based on the previous conversation you had with Gemini. And apparently Samsung's new Bixby application which will land on the S25 series will also come with that feature where we'll be able to talk to Bixby based on the history of conversation. That is going to be interesting to see. But I actually feel that having these two assistants with similar functionality may not be that useful. They should work on one to enhance it because I would definitely prefer using Gemini to uh, the Samsung's own Bixby assistant. And if Samsung is trying to work on Bixby and uh, try to make it look like Gemini or work like Gemini, that may not be a good idea in my opinion because Samsung Galaxy phones are anyways based on Android and we have got Gemini which can be integrated into Samsung phones like they have just started with three applications like notes, calendar and reminder. Let me know what do you think? Do you think uh, a new version of Bixby on S25 Ultra would attract you? Would you be interested in using it when compared to Gemini? Drop a comment and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Another important thing to note here is uh, Google is releasing Gemini Flash 2.0 which is already available on most of the phones now. Let me show you that. Hey Google. As you can see, when you open Gemini on the top, you will see 1.5 flash. You've got a drop down here. When you tap on that, you will see 2.0 flash experimental, it says. And apparently this is an advanced version of Gemini, which we get to use right now. You don't have to upgrade to premium for this. You'll be able to select 2.0 and use the experimental features on Gemini. Now, as per Google, Gemini 2.0 flash is more powerful than 1.5 or 1.5 Pro while still delivering on the speed and efficiency that developers expect from Flash. It also features improved multimodal text, code, video, spatial understanding and reasoning performance on key benchmarks. Improved spatial understanding enables more accurate bounding boxes generation on small objects in cluttered images. In real time information, it lets you understand your world live. What can you tell me about the sculpture? The sculpture you're seeing is called My World and Your World by Eva Rothschild, located in Lewis Cubitt Park in London. What kind of themes does her work explore? She creates abstract sculptures that invite viewers to interact with and interpret their surroundings in new ways. So there are a lot of advantages using uh, Gemini 2.0 Flash. I will probably deep dive into this in my next video. Stay tuned for that. Uh, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know whether you've got uh, Gemini 2.0 or not on your uh, phone. Drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this video informative. And the wallpaper link is in the description. You can go ahead and download it. And while you do that, do not forget to hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye. Yeah.